All right, so today I'm going to show you how to get a free landing page and how to hook up your website to MailChimp for free. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to MailChimp.com. It says over here that you can get a free custom domain, but that's actually only if you sign up for their $14 a month or higher uh, program. So we're just going to sign in here, and if you don't have an account, create an account. It's super simple, and then log in. All right, so once you sign in, what you want to do is you want to come over here to campaigns. Then that's going to load and click create campaign. It's going to give you a list of all these different things you can do, but actually what you want is the landing page. So click landing page, then you can name it. My company's Mountaintop, so that's usually just the kind of deal I'm going for. Once you name it, click begin. Now it's going to ask you to select a template. Now these are all pretty malleable. If you don't know how to do things very well, um, find one that you're comfortable with and you like the layout of. If you're comfortable dragging and dropping and changing everything, then it really doesn't matter which one you pick because you can basically, just like Play-Doh, you can make anything you want. So this is the one I picked before just because I like the layout. I'm not actually going to show you how to um, drag and drop everything. I might make another video about that. That'll be in the description box below. But today it's just simply how do you create a landing page. So let's say you got it every way you like it. You like the whole bit. This is all good to go. Then you click save and close. Now it's going to come over here. It's going to ask you to do a page title, which I thought was weird because it just asked us to do um, the, the name of the page, but I'm going to make one anyway. Let's just call it Mountaintop there, save that, and it's going to say add URL. Now I've already connected my domain, but if you haven't, you won't be able to click on use custom domain. It'll just make you use MailChimp domain here. Now if you don't want to use MailChimp's domain and you want to connect your domain, I'm going to show you how to do that in the second half of this video, but if you just really just want a free landing page, this is it. Quite simple. So MailChimp, blah, 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 and then type in what you want it to be. I'm going to put in Mountaintop again because that's my jam. And then you would click Save. After all of that's done, all you have to do now is click Publish. Once you publish it, your website's live and you can send anyone you want there. It's that simple. It's that easy. Now you're ready to rock. Good luck out there. Okay, so this second part is only for those people who want to link their custom domain to their MailChimp landing page. It's a little bit more uh, technical, but it's pretty simple. I'll walk you through it. Also, just a disclaimer, um, this is going to be how you connect your Google domain to MailChimp. And because I like Google domains and because they give you free uh, email forwarding capabilities and free security, that's just my go-to. So if you're not with Google domains, this might still make sense if you understand a little bit of it, like your DNS settings on uh, how you do things for your actual domain preferences. So let's get into it right now. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so in order to verify your domain, first you want to come over to brand and go down to manage domains. Uh, and so here's the verified domain, but we can't actually just do this with a regular email address. If I put in my old email address, it'll tell me that it's not going to work. So I'll just show you. So you can see it. Sorry, domains from free email providers like Gmail can't be added to your verified domain. So what does that mean? That means we actually need to go and set up a business email address. So let's go over to Google and I'm going to show you guys how to set up email forwarding so that you can have a business email that people can send you emails from. All right. So first off for me, uh, I'm coming over to Google domains. Then you got to pick a domain. I'm going to pick finding faves. That's one of the ones that I just made. Then you want to come down here and click on email. And now you have to do email forwarding. You add an email alias. So what do I want my name to be? I'll just put my regular name and then I want to forward it to my old pre-existing account. Okay, so let's add that. Boom. All right, and now we're going to go back to Chimp Mail and or MailChimp, sorry, 
and then we're going to actually uh, verify our domain using that new email address that we just created. All right, let's check that out. Okay, so after you've clicked on verified domain and you've put in your new business email here, what you want to do is click on send verification email and then come over to your email wherever you set up that email address to forward to and you want to click on verify domain access. After you verified your domain, what you want to do is come down here to connect domain. So you want to click on that. And then it says add a domain or a subdomain. So we're going to click on findingfaves.com and go to submit. Then it's going to give us two series of codes that we need to put in here. You need to pay attention to this because it's important. Now all of this is going to be through Google Domains again. So if you're with a different provider, the information is the same, but the process is going to be a little bit different. Okay, so copy the following value into the CNAME records named www.forfindingfaves.com. All right, so you want to come back over to your Google Domains and you want to go over to your DNS settings, right? If you read this, um, your CNAME stuff will all be in your DNS settings and you want to scroll down to where it says custom resource records. All right, so it says here, copy the following value into the CNAME record named www. So all we need is this. Come over here. We want to make a CNAME, so make sure you select CNAME. And then in the at, you want to put www. And then you come back and you click copy here. Now there's two parts. After we do this, we have to do this down here. Okay, so copy this and then head back over to Google Domains put that in there and then click add. All right, so that's step one. Then it says, copy the following IP address into the A records for findingfaves.com dot. All right, so come back here. Now we have the A record. So we wanna actually copy this part. Last time I didn't actually copy in the dot at the end of the dot com and it didn't work. So copy that whole piece in. There it is, and then come back here, copy this piece in, and then put this over here in the IPv4 address. Paste, and then add. Now it says that it might take up to 48 hours for these changes to take effect. So if you verified your domain, and then you've connected your domain, now here I'll say connect. All right, and now it's still pending. So it usually takes a few hours to propagate. Propagate means that your information goes out on the internet and it actually takes time. So in order for it to actually propagate, it needs to ping all these different servers and let them know that this is what this domain is. So now you have all that. And then um, after you've done this part, you can actually come back to MailChimp here you want to go into campaigns and then click on the particular landing page that you want to connect that domain to and then when it says URL here you go to edit URL and then you click on the one now mine's still not verified yet so the finding faves one hasn't popped up but once it's verified you can come over here click on it and then just put uh, they have the forward slash because it's a landing page it's not actually a website so put in like whatever it is if it's a sign up or um, you know a landing page for whatever reason so after you do all of this then your website will be connected to your landing page you'll have a free email forwarding account if you want to learn how to not just have emails forwarded to you but how you can send them under your business email account that link is going to be in the description box below um, but for the sake of time we're just going to end this session now and, and that's basically it. You got your free landing page, you got your free business email forwarding address and um, now you can look professional and not have to pay for hosting and not have to worry about you know all these other glitches that can happen. MailChimp's got you covered.
So if you like this video and you found it helpful, smash that like button. And if you want to subscribe to get weekly tips and tricks on how to up your digital game, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.